Genesis chapter 35 And God says to Jacob, Rise, go up to Bethel and dwell there, and make there an altar to God, who appeared before you in your fleeing from the face of your brother Esau. And Jacob says to his household and to all who are with him, Turn aside the gods of the stranger which are in your midst, and cleanse yourselves, and change your garments. And we rise and go up to Bethel, and I make there an altar to God, who is answering me in the day of my tribulation, and is with me in all the way that I have gone. And they give to Jacob all the gods of the stranger that are in their hand, and the rings that are in their ears, and Jacob hides them under the oak which is by Shechem. And they journey, and the terror of God is on the cities which are around them, and they have not pursued after the sons of Jacob. And Jacob comes to Luz, which is in the land of Canaan. It is Bethel, he and all the people who are with him. And he builds there an altar, and proclaims at the place, the God of Bethel. For there had God been revealed to him, in his fleeing from the face of his brother. And Deborah, Rebekah's nurse, dies, and she is buried at the lower part of Bethel under the oak, and he calls its name Oak of Weeping. And God appears to Jacob again in his coming from Padan Aram, and blesses him. And God says to him, Your name is Jacob. Your name is no longer called Jacob, but Israel is your name. And he calls his name Israel. And God says to him, I am God Almighty. Be fruitful and multiply. A nation and an assembly of nations is from you, and kings from your loins go out. And the land which I have given to Abraham and to Isaac, to you I give it. Indeed, to your seed after you I give the land. And God goes up from him in the place where he has spoken with him. And Jacob sets up a standing pillar in the place where he has spoken with him, a standing pillar of stone. And he pours on it an oblation, and he pours on it oil. And Jacob calls the name of the place where God spoke with him, Bethel. And they journey from Bethel, and there is yet a distance of land before entering Ephratah. And Rachel bears, and is sharply pained in her bearing. And it comes to pass in her being sharply pained in her bearing, that the midwife says to her, Do not fear, for this also is a son for you. And it comes to pass in the going out of her soul, for she died, that she calls his name Ben-Oni, and his father called him Benjamin. And Rachel dies, and is buried in the way to Ephratah, which is Bethlehem. And Jacob sets up a standing pillar over her grave, which is the standing pillar of Rachel's grave, to this day. And Israel journeys, and stretches out his tent beyond the tower of Edar. And it comes to pass in Israel's dwelling in that land, that Reuben goes, and lies with his father's concubine Bilhah. And Israel hears. And the sons of Jacob are twelve, sons of Leah, Jacob's firstborn Reuben, and Simeon, and Levi, and Judah, and Issachar, and Zebulun. Sons of Rachel, Joseph, and Benjamin. And sons of Bilhah, Rachel's maidservant, Dan and Naphtali. And sons of Zilpah, Leah's maidservant, Gad and Asher. These are the sons of Jacob, who have been born to him in Padan Aram. And Jacob comes to his father Isaac at Mamre, the city of Arba, which is Hebron, where Abraham and Isaac have sojourned. And the days of Isaac are one hundred and eighty years. And Isaac expires and dies and is gathered to his people, aged and satisfied with days. And his sons Esau and Jacob bury him.